Well, it was a busy weekend up at Dartmouth College as both the baseball and softball teams took part in doubleheaders against some tough Ivy League competition on Saturday. But perhaps the most dramatic game on Saturday was the Dartmouth women's lacrosse team's 10-9 overtime victory over Cornell. Junior Jacqueline Leto netted her third and final tally of the game just 29 seconds into the extra period on a free position goal to lift the Big Green to their first victory of the season after an 0-9 start. Senior Sarah Byron also finished with three goals for Dartmouth, while tying a program record with nine draw controls in the contest. The Big Green trailed 2-0 before sophomore midfielder Tyron Deck put the home team on the board near the midpoint of the first half, and made it 3-2 moments later with her second goal of the half. Senior midfielder Francis Bird and sophomore attack Courtney Weiss also added single tallies for the home team, while senior Jessica Frieder earned her first collegiate victory in goal, matching a career high with 12 saves. On the baseball field, it was all about junior Duncan Robinson and Dartmouth's 3-1 victory over Princeton in Game 1. Dartmouth's offense managed just three runs in the contest, but with Robinson on the mound, that was more than enough for the Big Green to clinch their sixth win of the season. Robinson struck out a career-high eight batters and allowed just one unearned run in a complete game effort. He surrendered six hits and didn't walk a batter. Offensively, it was designated hitter Joe Puritano who provided the bulk of the damage for Dartmouth, driving in a pair of runs on a line drive to left in the bottom of the first. Dartmouth's third and final run came in the bottom of the fifth inning after senior Matt Parisi tripled to left center and scored on a wild pitch. It was all Princeton in the nightcap, however, as Luke Stryber allowed just four hits in a shutout 4-0 victory for the Tigers. The Dartmouth softball team came away with a sweep in its doubleheader with Cornell, winning 3-0 in Game 1 before swinging its way to a 15-10 victory in the nightcap. And finally, on an international note, Hanover, New Hampshire native Hillary Knight was named MVP of the Women's World Hockey Championships in Sweden after leading Team USA to a 7-5 victory over Canada in the championship game on Saturday. Knight led the tournament with 12 points, including 7 goals and 5 assists. That does it for sports. I'm Mike Pizzone.